day, everyone. You're tuning in with Jillian from About IT. And today I'm sitting here with Adele, who is our certified SAGE trainer and consultant. Adele is going to walk us through the difference between SAGE 100 and SAGE 200, followed by the key features of the new SAGE 200 Evolution solution. Over to you, Adele. We are going to cover an overview of changes that have been implemented on the SAGE solution from Evolution version 7 to Evolution version 9, also known as SAGE 200. In today's session, we will be referring to SAGE 200. Firstly, we look at the new layout of the nodes. For today's purpose, we will be looking at the general ledger as our example. A new option has been added. The work area now includes a process flow and related task session. We will be applying the following color coordination options to the desired modules. Maintenance green, transactions red, inquiries blue, reports dark blue, visual reports gray, charge light purple. We now have the ability to change the look and feel. Go to view, pre user preferences. Under the button theme, you have colored or transparent. Button size, you can choose between large and small. Scrolling direction, direction horizontal or vertical. And under options, you also have show recently used and show reports. Navigation enhancements. Inform navigation is available on maintenance forms to navigate to the next, previous, last or first record. You will find the buttons at the bottom left hand side of your screen. The option is also available to create new records from the maintenance form by selecting the plus sign. Tabs are displayed on the left of left and no longer on the top of the forms. We now move on to the new feature of easy to find aka filter. You will find it on the top left hand side of the screen. You can type in a word where exactly want to go into evolution. Click on it and press control enter or just click on it. And click on OK. Terminology changes. Evolution version 7 talks about accounts receivable. Sage 20 talks about customer sales. Other changes from evolution version 7 to Sage 200. Under the customer sales transactions, you go into sales order to process a quote, sales order and invoice. Still under customer sales, you can process an invoice and a credit note. You go to customers, transactions, there you will find the sales order, the invoice, the credit notes. All three of these notes are new to Sage 200. This was a very important change that was requested by Evolution customers to be able to do all things customer related in one place. Evolution version 7 talks about accounts payable. Sage 200 Evolution talks about suppliers purchases. Under the supplier purchase transactions, you can go into your purchase order to process your purchase orders, good receive vouchers and supplier invoices. You can also go into your, your GRV where you can process receive stock and process supplier invoices. You can also go into return to supplier here you can process your credit notes back to the supplier. You click on supplier purchases, transactions, you will find the purchase order, the good receive voucher and the return to supplier. When you upgrade from Evolution version 7 to Sage 200, accounts receivable and accounts payable will still be the same. 
when you create a new database, the accounts receivable will be customer sales and accounts payable will be supplier purchases. Data entry enhancements. To make the maintenance of master files data easier, new quick entry options have been added to supplier groups, customer groups, inventory groups, and inventory items. Open inventory items. At the top, you will see the quick entry tab. And this is where you can add quickly a new inventory item. A very exciting new feature which has been added to Sage Trainer is the ability to copy to Excel. Now you can. On your maintenance screen, hold Control A, right click, copy to Excel, open Excel. Right click and paste. What's also nice about this feature, it will add the headers as well where you copy from. Inventory maintenance. A default service item group has been added. At the time of creating the item, the group will be set to the inventory group selected in inventory default. For example, when you create an inventory service item, it will automatically populate into the service item group. Under inventory maintenance, inventory defaults, inventory right at the bottom of the screen, is the service item group. When you create a new service item, you're going to create a new inventory item. And under the information, by default, the service group will populate. Previously, your process would have been to create the inventory group for services. Then you would select the group when you create an inventory item. This was no longer a time-consuming process. The majority of changes that have been added to Sage Trainer fall into the inventory module. You can now have multiple barcodes per inventory item. You can have barcodes per unit of measure, price, per unit of measure can be set up. In the inventory item, under information, there you can link barcodes and you can have multiple barcodes per unit. Under the pricing, item price, there you can add multiple prices for warehouses as well as for unit of measure. The combination and structural changes in the inventory module have thus been drastically enhanced for customized reporting solutions. Under the inventory maintenance screen, you also have the pricing tab. We can change the prices of your inventory items. We now move on to learn more about the changes in inventory which apply to warehouses. A new key feature has been added which gives warehouse managers to the ability to use multiple bin locations per warehouses. You will need to activate this feature under inventory maintenance warehouse defaults. Under the maintenance, you will find warehouse defaults. And under the bin location, you will see there's an option to use multiple bin locations. 
Burnout patients was the name of the inventory category in version 7. This has now changed to inventory category in stage 200. So under the inventory item screen, if you open one of your stock items, under inventory um, information, you will find item category. A very nice feature is the ability to filter an inventory report according to the in item category. So we will go to inventory reports and listing and you will find from inventory category to inventory category. Attributes. This is a totally new feature that has been added to Sage 200. We are able to define inventory item attributes, which allow us to have a more accurate reporting and maintenance of inventory items. To set up the um, attributes, you will go to common. Under maintenance, you will find attributes. Attributes will have an attribute type, attribute value, which you will link to attribute groups. You need to link the attributes from the common maintenance to the inventory item under the inventory maintenance. Next, we are moving on to the inventory transactions. Still in inventory, we will look at the transactions. Price update batches can be scheduled using Job Manager. You are all also able to create a price update batch from an import file. Prices can be updated per item even though the price list records do not exist. To set up the price batch, you will go to Inventory, Transactions, Price Update Batches. When you create the new batch, you will find at the top right hand side where you can schedule the batch. And this is how the batch will look like when you have to schedule it. We move on to look at the inventory transactions, inventory document management. You can now search either for customer or supplier processed and unprocessed documents more easily. You can select the document type you want to open, select the status, then click on find. A new screen will open and you can select which document you would like to print, open, to view and email. You will find this option also under inventory transactions. Inventory document maintenance. Inventory reports. The new feature allows you to reprint documents. Here you can reprint a range of customers or supplier documents. And the inventory reports. Reprint documents. And this is where you will set up all the documents you need to reprint. A new f another feature which came in Sage 200 is to schedule backups. In the old version, you need to close Evolution and do the backup in SQL. Now with Sage 200, you can do the backup inside Evolution. To do this backup, you will go to Administration, System Tools, Backup and Restore Database. Jill, in closing, we have covered some of the new key features of Sage 200 Evolution. Fidel, thank you very, very much, guys. I think you'll all agree with me that this has been a most informative video with Fidel, and we look forward to many more.